Hello, it is me again, Garrett Teacher, here with another Hope School reading time. Are you ready? All right. Today's book is this book. And I will read the title on the screen. My, my best friend is as sharp as a pencil. Let's say it one more time together. My best friend is as sharp as a pencil. Huh? Your friend is sharp? Boing, 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 boing. Ouch! Your friend is sharp? Hmm, what does that mean? Your friend is sharp as a pencil? Let's look at the picture here. Here is the her friend. He's wearing glasses. There's a microscope. Hmm, is he, is he very sharp? No, he's not sharp. But this means he's smart. Sharp. He, he is smart. He can, you can use a pencil very well when it's sharp, right? You can use it. If it's not sharp, if it's broken, you cannot use it. But when it's sharp, you can use it very well. So he's smart. He's sharp as a pencil. Ouch! My thumb, my thumb is as big as a balloon. Dun dun! Ah! My thumb is as big as a balloon. That means it's really big, right? Like a balloon. Boing! All right, let's start the story. My friend is as sharp as a pencil. When grandma comes to visit, she asks so many questions about school. Okay, let's count really quick. How many questions? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven questions in a row? That's so many, grandma. Slow down, slow down. Not so fast. Not so fast, slow down. What is your teacher like? I'll say it slow just for this question. What is your teacher like? What's your favorite part of the day? Who's your best friend? Who is your favorite teacher? Who do you play with? Who is your second best friend? Who is in your class? Who's in your class? Wow, grandma, so many questions, so many questions. This time, Instead of giving her the same old boring answers, I have an idea. She wants to answer her grandma now, but in more of an exciting way. Not so boring, just more exciting. So let's see how she answers. Dun dun! Ooh! What's this? So many things. There are so many things. She says, I'll show her. I will show her. The first question, right? You asked me, you asked about my teacher, Miss Jennings. Miss Jennings talks in a voice as sweet as candy. Ooh, her voice is so nice. As sweet as candy. Except when she's very excited. Oh! When she's excited, maybe her voice is not so sweet, but it's when ah. the teacher, Miss Jennings, she can spell anything without making one mistake. She's very good at spelling. No mistakes. Without. No mistakes. So she is she can spell without mistakes. And she smells. So lovely, as lovely as flowers, as lovely as flowers. But you got to be careful, be careful. She notices, she can see, she notices everything. Just like 
a pair of glasses. Miss Jennings, I am giving you an A plus. Ta da! You did great. A plus. Good job, Miss Jennings. You're a great teacher. You are a great teacher. Her hair kind of looks like my hair, a little bit. At recess, recess, what's recess? That's when you go outside and play. Or you play with your friends after lunch. That's recess. She said, at recess, I like to play with my best friend, Jack. Jack knows everything about every country in the world. Country, you know, Africa, Asia, Europe, country. Those are continents, so we have to do smaller countries like South Korea, Japan. Those are countries. Jack is as sharp as a pencil. He's very smart. Remember that. As smart as a as sharp as a pencil means he's smart. As sharp as a pencil. All right. As curious as a magnifying glass. You can see very well, right, with this. So if you're curious, hmm, what's this? You can see things well with this. So he is as curious as a magnifying glass. And as precise, precise as a microscope. He can see very close and small. He's very exact, small. Zoo. Microscope. Next page. Is he a genius or what? Is he a genius or what? He's so smart, right? Is he a genius or what? And here he's saying something very smart because he's smart. So he's saying something very smart. It will take me 1,200 steps to cross the smallest country in the world, the Vatican. What is the most fun part about school? Going to the library. Going to the library. Going to the library. See? I'm smart too. She says, listening to Miss Sheila, the librarian, that's the person that's at the library, the librarian, is as exciting as rubbing a magic lamp. <gasps> What's gonna happen? Ta -da! This is exciting. And then she, the librarian, is as interesting as a book full of stories. Wow, she's so interesting. There's so many stories. When she reads them, them is the stories, her eyes shine, her eyes shine like marbles. Shiny, ooh, shiny. She can be as funny as a clown <laughs> or as scary as a monster. Oh. oh, who's this? Ah, the librarian. <gasps> There's a story starting now. Here she's telling a story. Quiet, please. Shh. And who is my favorite teacher? My favorite teacher. Hmm. My favorite teacher is as mysterious as a dark as dark glasses. Sunglasses, these are sunglasses because they're dark, right? They're not really just glasses, but as mysterious as dark glasses and as artistic, that means he's good at art, artistic as a paint palette. He's, he is, that means the teacher, he's, he is as relaxed. Ah relaxed 
as my favorite pair of jeans. These are nice and relaxed. He is relaxed, just like my jeans. And always so colorful, just like my new set of crayons. This is one set, one group, one set of crayons. All right, now let's go to the next page. He is Mr. Christoph. Hello, Mr. Christoph. My art teacher. Isn't he cool? Oh, he's so cool. So cool. Look at his hair. Look at his mustache. Mustache. He's so cool and relaxed. There is one person in my school who is so much fun. She is as happy as a balloon. Are balloons happy? Not really, but maybe you get, you feel happy when you play with a balloon. So her friend is happy like that. As happy as a balloon. As graceful as a ballet slipper. As jumpy as a million, a million rubber bands. And as loud ding, 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 as jingling bells. She is, she is, Sophia, the wildest ooh, girl in my class. Sophia, she looks so wild, right? She's wild. It's party time. Looks as curly as my hair. My second best friend in school is someone very quiet, very quiet. Someone who, as, who is slower than a snail. Who is slower than a snail? That's weird. Hmm. Someone who is as hard, ding, 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 as hard as a nut. Who, what person is as hard as a nut? This is weird. And has a shell too, a shell, shell, like a snail. Someone as green as lettuce leaves. Can you guess who it is? Da ding Mildred the turtle, our class pet. Slow down, you move too fast, says the turtle. Slow down, you move too fast. There are so many other kids in my class. One is as playful as a bowling pin, and one is as smart as a computer part. One is as happy as gummy worms, and one is as fancy as lipstick. Lipstick can be fancy, right? So her friend is as fancy as lipstick. One is as loud as a kazoo, one is as quiet as a fish. Fish are quiet, right? One is as strong as a bulldozer. And one is as delicate. Maybe you can break, break it, right? You can break it. Be careful. It is delicate. One is as delicate as the sound of a violin. So delicate can be nice or breakable. Then there's one girl who looks a lot like me, who is as clever, as smart, as clever as Legos. I can't show them all to you, but da -da, here they are, Grandma. Here are just a few. Can you tell, can you tell which one is me? Which one looks like this girl? Do, 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 Which one is it? You can tell your teacher in class. I found her. I found her. Does that answer all your questions, Grandma? The end. Wow. So many questions and so many answers.
Here's the end of the book, and I myself have three questions for you. Are you ready? All right, first question. What does it mean Jack is as sharp as a pencil? What does that mean again? Can you tell me? Number two. What is the most fun part about school for the girl in the book? What is the most fun part? And number three, I have my own question. My own question. What animal is as fast as a car? Can you answer? All right. Thank you so much for coming to Hope School Reading Time. I hope you come one more time. All right. Bye bye.